Learning more about ourselves can help navigate the tough times we're in, like right now. But where do you start? We're getting some coaching this morning. Ron Esposito is a life coach with the Conscious Living Center here in Cincinnati and a very good friend of mine. Good to see you, Ron. Happy New Year. Well, Happy New Year <laughs> all year to you, Yeah, too. <laughs> right. Well, let's start with happiness because we all want happiness. Yeah. But why do you sh say we shouldn't try to get happiness? Because happiness is a byproduct. The surest way to be unhappy is to keep striving to be happy. So happiness is a byproduct and it really comes from being in the moment with what is, not resisting what is, mm -hmm even though it might not be very uh, happy. That's not easy to do. It's not, you're right, you're right. But uh, if we do practice that, we will become more happy. Happiness is a byproduct. You know, if you think getting that new house, the new car, the new coat is gonna make you happy forever, that's a big illusion. Yeah, it might just be temporary. <laughs> That's correct. Well, so you say that we need to develop a self-observation practice. Can you tell us what that means? Sure, of course. Developing a self-observation practice means we're becoming more awake, more conscious, more aware. And we're able to observe our thinking, feeling, and behaving, as well as the underlying motivation. So self-observation is always conscious and chosen. So give me, a, give me an example, like maybe I'm getting angry and I can observe what it is that's making me angry or? Right, sure, so we, we can observe that we're starting to get angry. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, what's triggering that anger? What's underlying that anger? You know, and a lot of times, it's fear that underlies anger. Hmm. So maybe what am I afraid of? Or, you know, hey, you know, I didn't get my eggs the way I wanted them <laughs> done. And I, I, I'm, I'm getting a little angry about it. But if we don't self-observe, then we just spill it out onto everybody unconsciously. So uh, that kind of leads into the next one, either or thinking. What is wrong with either or thinking? Yeah, and it's interesting when we use these terms right and wrong, mm -hmm. right? Either or thinking means it's either this or it's that, or it's black and white or thinking. Or good or bad. Yeah, being locked into what we call dualistic thinking. Mm -hmm. So the, the antidote to that is what we call both and thinking. Which means what? Means that, hey, we're in the middle of a pandemic and boy, oh boy is stuff messed up and I can still be happy and have enjoyment, you know, with my partner, my family, my friends. So it's, it's both and because when we start thinking both and, we can appreciate mystery, paradox, and nuance. Okay. As we all know, nuance is <laughs> a hard thing to get these days. Well, and I think we've all learned during the pandemic that we cannot control a lot of things. Most things are out of our control. So how does it help us to, to accept that? Sure. So when we really start to realize most things are out of our control, we start to realize Okay, what's in my control? Mm -hmm. Generally, that's me. <laughs> and my behavior and, and my, my reaction. my behavior, yeah. my thinking, my responses. And so, you know, basically we change what we can, which generally is us, mm -hmm. and, you know, know the difference of what's in our control and what isn't. And we're only human. You say we have to remember that we're just human. That's right. You know, did anybody ever become a better human by whipping themselves, by beating themselves, by letting that inner critic chew you up? We really want to love ourselves, mm -hmm. accept ourselves. That's really the antidote. And it all sounds so good. And if, you, if you'd like to learn more, maybe you want to talk with Ron personally, you can schedule a complimentary session with him. Give us the email. We'll put it on the website sure, too. Sure. It's Ron dot esposito at goconscious.com. Very good. Ron, thank you so much. It's a pleasure being here. I thank always you, love Sheila. talking with you. Yeah. Okay. We'll be